Welcome to my home bar. My name is Lele, and today we're gonna make some citrus, some training for our grapefruit and orange. Let's make it today. We're gonna cut this one. I'll show you how to do it. So this is real big, so we're gonna start from this side. And then we're gonna go from here to this side. So we're gonna leave out all the white bits in the grapefruit. And from here, we're gonna go this way. Okay. So this hand cuts a nice perfect grapefruit, and you see the top? All nice and shiny, no, no bits inside. It's a nice and perfect garnish for your drinks. Okay? And uh, for peeling, I'm gonna show you how to peel some nice grapefruit. So, every time you are peeling, as we said before, start always from the neck, so from this side, and just roll down until the other side. So, you see from the neck, you go into the bottom. It's really big, so you don't need to cut it off. from this side. You got a little triangle. And from here, you're just gonna cut it this side. If you see this side is too long, it can still go. Just to cut it a little bit, so it's gonna be sharp. Here we go. A nice grapefruit peel for your drinks. I'm gonna show you some more easy techniques to do at home. Start from the neck. Okay. So this way. Cut the garnish on this side. Put it this way. On this side. And then from here, you can just start cutting the other boards. Okay, so you can have this one as a garnish as well. You can see I made it a little bit different from before. You can see it's like really easy to make. Just turn it around and it's go. Otherwise, if you want to do a different style, you can do it this way. So you got this one as well, so you got both sides looking the other way. Simple garnish to make at home. Do it if you want to know some more difficult Technique to peel to cut, just let me know. Subscribe, write down the comment. So, this is the second part. So, today we're gonna make some orange. Let's make some orange together. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to cut an orange. So, we got two orange here. Orange normally doesn't come like the lemons, so the skin is really smooth, soft. You can use this in both ways. So, now we're gonna cut the orange. This is the perfect way to cut a perfect orange. For Negroni, for Americano, so this way. Let me cut it again from here. This way. Now this piece of orange, you can squeeze it, you can juice it, you can use it for some some marmalade or some batches. So for this one, just stick it down. Okay. Or just cut it maybe this size. This is how it should look like. Have you seen the head of the orange? It's flat and perfect, there's no bits inside. And this is how the orange garnish should be. So you can see it's gonna sit perfectly on the drink, you can take it up. You're gonna see it's shining, beautiful, perfect angles. This is how to cut it. So when you're peeling an orange, grab it from the head, a little bit down the neck, and just go this way. So you're gonna make sure you're peeling the nice part of it. This is how you put the orange. Always the same style with the other garnishes. Straight. Almost like I'm making a triangle over here. Okay, and then just cut it down on the side. So this is a nice, perfect orange garnish. It's in your drink. I'm gonna show you some more basic ways to cut some oranges as well. Okay, so when you're putting the orange, you can put it in different ways. So one should be like this, and the second one is gonna be this way, always for the neck. Okay, just go straight with the knife. Okay, one, 
just a nice simple garnish for an old fashioned Manhattan or drink that requires orange peel. But nice garnish for a drink. Or you can do more different ways of doing some garnishes. There's some basic style. If you want to know how to cut some more garnishes with orange, subscribe, write down the comment, let me know, and we'll do the training together. Bye guys, thank you.